What's up, Lulu? Hey, buddy. You say hey to YouTube? What up? What's up, y'all? It's Patrick with Alabama Burning. All right, bye, Lulu. Um, I've got a permit on the table. I've got the edges already burned up. I'm gonna show you guys how to burn this one. Um, it's pretty big for a permit, about three feet. Um, if you like these videos, like, share, subscribe. Uh, let's get into it. I've got a reference photo. Since this is the only second of this style of burn, I've got it right here on my iPad. It's uh, the last one I burned. This is for a customer, so I gotta make sure the colors are the same and uh, a lot of the lines are the same. But just to give you a little idea of what I'm working off of, you see me looking over here, that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah, so let's start burning. I'm gonna start off with a big torch. Fill her up, gas in the tank. Light it up. I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna go along the backbone, all the way down, fill in my major uh, dark areas. Some of my other videos have been kind of long, so I'm gonna do a lot of time lapsing on these. Uh, if you have any questions, just leave a comment. I'll try and answer everything the best I can. pretty much done. I'm going to bring out the smaller torch, fill it up, start adding some of these lines into the fins of things. What I did here is just pretty much just light shade all across the side of the profile of the fish. Added a little highlight here. Once again, I'm trying to shorten these videos up a little bit because I know it's hard to watch a 30 minute video of just me jabbering about how I do things, but it's all pretty straightforward most part. Again, if you have any questions, just comment below. I'll try and answer all of them. Coming to the eye right here, I'm going to add a hard line just over the top, maybe a little one underneath it. Try and give it some character. A little shade. Hard line. I'm going to go across the top, add a nice hard line all the way across the back, make it a little bit more defined. Start with the mouth right here. Permits have a really small mouth, so it can be kind of difficult. Again, this is just the way I do it. You don't have to do it like this. It all kind of works. And a permit has a really cool like lateral line, I guess you'd call it. I'm not sure what the exact name is, but it's like a sensory line that's in most fish. It goes from the tail, kind of shoots about halfway out and kind of fades out. I'm gonna add that to it. Kind of make it fade out a little bit. There you go. All right. Let's start adding some of these harder lines along the gill plate, the mouth.
most of my dark lines done. Um, I'm going to do a little shading, add a little more shade to it, and then I'll come in and color it. But I know my camera angles are kind of bad. It's kind of hard to see, especially doing a time lapse. I'm trying to make things a little shorter so people can, you know, tension spans and stuff. But the flame, when you're doing hard lines, you got your spatula. It's just right here along the line. And when you're running it, you just need to hit that flame right on the edge of that spatula and move it all in one fine sequence. Um, you can start by practicing it on a blank sheet of wood, something that's a little easier, something you can kind of mess up. But once you get those lines down, throw them up and then you do the reverse and you come back down and that's where it adds that gap so you can see these, these lines on the dorsal. Um, and that goes for you know anything you're adding a fine line to. I'm just using the torch and the spatula as the guide. It guides the heat. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna come through, do some shading real quick, and then I'm gonna come in with some color. Let's break out the uh, P80 by razor tip. This gets really hot. It's a nice hot pin. Come in and add the detail on the eye and around the fins. Just running lines. I usually I don't use this very often. Most people who wood burn use these the most. They don't really use torches a lot, but I'm trying to teach people how to use torches and uh, just kind of incorporate everything. Especially it works a lot faster if you're using a torch. have like a nostril right here I don't know what else to call it but it's just a nice little dot right there all right so now we're at that point after doing the lines and the shading and everything we're gonna come in with some paints um, I use watercolors the wood soaks it up pretty well um, just name brand stuff, nothing special. Same with the brush, just Walmart or some craft store brushes. They get, they get messed up from the wood pretty easily, so they're easy to toss out once, you're, once they're ruined. A um, little bit of blues, a little bit of yellows, nothing crazy. And again, you can do whatever kind of colors you want. I'm no, I'm not a great painter, but just add a little color. I like to soak the wood a little bit before I go in. It helps the pigment move around a little easier. surface space on this one so you got to move the pigments around pretty quick to make them kind of blend together um, once again I work pretty quick so if you need to pause the video just pause it come back
So to give you guys a better idea of what I did, I just added the yellows right along the bottom, a little bit in the fin, a little bit up top there. Just went dark on top, and a nice light blue, a little bit of yellow. Pretty straightforward. If you have any questions, just comment below. Now I got my Dremel. Uh, just a little carving tool shaped like a ball on top. It's got little grooves in it. I'm gonna come along, add some highlights along the back, around the fin, around the eye, and right in this little shadow on the top and bottom. got my carved out little lines done here. I'm gonna come in with some glitterific, it's acrylic uh, glitter paint and just add a little bit of glitter to the tops, bottoms, just little areas around the fish. Makes it pop a little bit. Once again, you don't have to do all this, of course. Do your own thing. You know, some of you might be working on something else completely different. Or you're just watching for fun. And again, if I can get these numbers up, like, share, subscribe. I'll start doing some giveaways. burning.com I'll have a link in the description you can follow me on Facebook at Alabama burning and on Instagram and on TikTok and if you need any custom orders you can email me at Alabama burning at yahoo.com come in with the white acrylic and just add a little detail to the eye it really makes it pop out a little bit just a little dab will do you and that's it now of course I come over it with a two-part epoxy resin cover the whole thing it makes everything really liven up a bit it also helps protect it um, there's a million videos on YouTube about how to use two-part epoxy resin I suggest checking those out um, yeah that's pretty much it um, I can't think of anything else to add to it um, if you like videos like this hit that bell I'll be making more um, if you have any questions, again, comment below. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Now I'm going to go catch a Mardi Gras parade because I live in Mobile, Alabama. And that's the time of the year it is. Mm -hmm.